Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. I decided that I enjoyed doing a doll video, so I'm gonna do more of them. This is my. These are gonna be in my plastic crack playlist because it is addictive, but not as bad for you as actual crack. So, I have many cases and I've decided that the best way to go about these would be to uh, showcase each case um, because I've tried to arrange them by collection. Now what you see here is a 1967 case. This one actually says Mattel on it. A lot of the cases are from subsidiary companies or outside companies. Um, let's get the ruler in here. So we've got seven inches, also known as about 17 and a half centimeters, and we're about 11 and a half inches or meow, 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 meow. 29 and a half centimeters there. All right, so Tootie is Barbie's little sister. She's introduced in 1967. She is six and a half inches tall, if I remember correctly, but we'll double check in a minute. And in 1967, they added her friend Chris. Now, Tootie shares a head mold with her twin brother Todd, but Chris has a new head mold. She came in brunette or blonde, as well as did Tootie, and there was a couple of red heads that were more rare. Um, the, the body is entirely vinyl, soft vinyl, with wires in it, so they're bendy, but the issue is that a lot of the dolls will have greening, where the metal is corroded and it seeps into the skin. Uh, and, a lot of, and at that point, you'll find a lot of heads without bodies. Now, in the late 60s, the brunettes would often have oxid oxid oh my god oxidized hair, where over time the brunette would turn to a kind of a red color. So I'm going to open this case. I'll flip it around. It's got a handle that somebody made out of a dowel to replace the original handle. I bought it like this on eBay. I like to buy cases that are somewhat used and not necessarily pristine because I do um, evil things to them. So we'll turn this around. We've got the same image on the back. Now you can see here where I've put ribbons through the back of the case. And I put some stickers on the side because when I was little I had stickers on my cases and I missed that. So I've got some Barbie stickers from uh, Styling Head with the, the nails. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll get in here. I've removed the guts. There's usually vinyl and cardboard guts. You can see a little piece of it up in here with the clothes rack that I've folded up. And what I do when I get these cases, sometimes they're a little musty, but I will take a toothbrush and Windex and scrape the bejesus out of them. So let's take Chris out here. I do not have a Tootie doll. I can't believe I got one of these. It's kind of a, a find in and of itself. We'll get back to those other kids in a minute. So I get her little dress here. Now she was a little dingy and I cleaned her and she came with her original hair set. Her ribbons are a little faded. She's got her little metal barrette. She's freaking gorgeous. She's one of my favorites. She's got a little bit of a split on her armpit I think but uh, she's otherwise pretty there's a stain on her leg and it might be from her wire I don't think that was there when I got her. Yeah, she's getting a little bit of staining at this point. But she's cleaner than uh, she was. 
and let me get her dress off to show her body a little better. There's uh, Chris Tag Mattel, 1966 date there. And oh, is that gonna? Oh, okay. I see. I've only taken her outfit on and off once, just to show her body here. Now I've I put some thread in here because her underpants kept falling off, but she's got like a little flat body and it's bendy. So she's just a little kid there. I imagine her them to be like like six years old or something. So this was they introduced Skipper in 1964. She was Barbie's little sister. And she's supposed to be able... Man, she's got a lot of... Oh, I know what it is. It's the... Some of this is staining from her the green on her dress. But I think that spot... Those spots on her legs might be from the wires. But we'll just... Uh, get her... Back how I had her here. Good friendly pose. Okay. So she is, okay, so she's like six inches even. And it was six or six and a half. Let me zoom in on her so we can get, get right in there. She is freaking adorable. So she has oxidized hair. Let me get this out of the way so there's more light. That's this, uh... So she's got like a shimmery auburn going on here. I think I paid like 60, maybe 60 for what for her. And she's a little dirty and I had to clean her up and straighten her out. Um, but the going rate for these is quite a bit. There's some from the 70s that are European, very cute. Um, I really want a blonde one too, like a 1970 three German blonde Chris, but they're pretty exclusive. So she's just, I feel like she's like in kindergarten. She's just so cute. So friggin' cute. Ugh. All right, so I've got, <clears throat> to explain the other dolls in this case, let me zoom back out a little bit. Get her legs so that she stands up. Okay. Zoom out here. just love how meta it is to have her in her own case. Now in in the 60s they made these dolls called Little Kittles and I should go get the one that I've got. Which time have I got on here? Okay I got plenty of time. So this is a tutti frutti little kittle. And it would be, I think, 1969. My, my little stand that I made is dirty, but um, can of air here. This was pretty costly too. But anyway, she is it's like a little ice cream cone thing. Um, this is a little kittle, and they tried to revive them in the 80s or early 90s with some a different company, I think. Um, so by the 80s, Skipper had be gotten bigger um, and older, and they were missing this little kid zone. And they had this series in the 1980s with babies using a body about this size. It was like chubbier and the feet weren't flat. And they were called the Hart family, and the original body was from this baby set in 1977 called Rosebud. And they had these little babies, and they sold them the Hart family. It was made by Mattel. It was supposed to be like their friends or something because, you know, Barbie couldn't get married. So they had the mom and the dad, they had grandparents, and they had the African American set. And they had the babies. And about 1993-94, they were only selling those in Europe. But in 1995, they gave Barbie another new little sister. 
Because in 1992, they gave her Stacy, who's about, about yay tall, who had been, who was kind of like a rebranded version of Tootie. Because she still had her twin brother Todd, but they, they called her Stacy and she was blonde. And then they wanted this market for these smaller dolls and those toddler babies that they had in the 80s. So they made Barbie's new little sister Kelly here. And the reason I brought Kelly out, she's she's four inches tall. I'm going to go four. Four, four, four and a half. Um, she was sold in Europe as Shelly. And then about 2010, they changed her name to Chelsea and gave her a new body and a new face. And forever lost this like uber cuteness. They're still using this body um, for the toddlers that come with the Barbie sets. They just have plastic heads now with like molded hair. Um, I actually have one in, in the other case that that one goes in so we'll probably see that at some point. So let me open this back up. Now the Chelsea dolls that they sell now are a little bit in between in height. This is a uh, Dreamtopia Chelsea. So you can see she's almost the same height as what the Chris and Tootie dolls would be. She's a little shorter. I think she's only five and a half. Yeah, she's like five and a half inches tall. So her body doesn't move. Her clothes are molded on. They usually just give her a skirt and her arms are usually just flat. So in in most respects, she kind of sucks actually. Um, and then her head swivel, I don't even know if her head swivels, but it's just not as good a face. And um, the ones in like 2017, 2018, they do have better eye screening. It's just not as good and her hair is crunchy too. Not super impressed with these, but I have like eight of them. I don't know. I I like to collect them for for the head molds and the different uh, like ethnicities. So this one is Otto. He came in the set with that Chelsea doll, and he's got this kind of like swoopy head mold. He's it's just the same face but with molded hair. He's got the same body. The same limited posability. He's kind of cool though. Most of the dolls that they have now don't have names and it really pisses me off. Just leave her there for a second. So this is what Chelsea's new friend. And he's so cute. He came with a little cardboard guinea pig, I think. Um, it gets like the same face mold, but with m different molded hair and he's got the same posability, which is to say very, yeah, his head doesn't swivel at all, but he's super cute. And cause he doesn't have a name. Um, I called him Julian because there was some, a set of dolls that Mattel produced in uh, like 2009 ish. It was called Sew so in Style and they had a little kid that was um, using the taller Kelly body with the Kelly face uh, that was called Julian. So I just decided that that's what his name was. So that's what I keep in this case. And, uh, there's a little dog here that I also have tied down. I'm going to move her over a little bit. Come on, little bastard, get out of there. Uh. Now, in the 60s, they used to make the pets out of, like, wire and faux fur. Oh, it's like, ribbon is really in there. There we go. Hmm. All right, there's a little dog here came in the Dreamtopia set. It's called Honey. I don't really 
didn't need that, but there we go. All right. So I've gone from super cute and super poseability to this one's not really that poseable, but some of the Kellys had swivel arms and they're just they're really cute hands and little pudgy cheeks. Um, and they made like hundreds of these. Uh, and you could still buy them. I used to have a bunch of them, um, but after I had my nervous breakdown, I like got rid of like probably like three quarters of my collection. Uh, so this is one that I've gotten a couple years ago. She came in a set. All right. So that was a little bit of history about Barbie's little littler sisters and their best friends here. Um, there. Oh, I love this doll so much. I actually like to display her with my totally hair dolls, but I don't have enough room right now. I have a fairly sizable mod collection right now, um, and I might put it on display in place of the totally hair dolls pretty soon. Um, but I just added a couple pieces, so we'll see. She's got little, little rubbery feet and hard plastic shoes. So it's very collectible. She's just got the rosiest cheeks. She's so cute. I just want to zoom back in on her. She is one of the like holy grail items in my collection, I would say. I'm gonna try to get her zoomed in better there. I can't, hopefully that's focused. She's just so goddamn cute. Uh, maybe. Oh, that's better. That's pretty good. All right. So that is one of my cases. It's actually not that hard to find a lot of vintage cases. Some are harder to find than others. Um, it depends on how much you're willing to spend. You can get them from anywhere from like 10 to like $100, depending on whether it's a small case, large case, a uh, trunk, a uh, vinyl and cardboard, or a plastic hard case. It just varies. Um, yeah. And I don't, again, this one, you can see that the vinyl has some wear in it. Um, I don't like them to be too pristine because I do rip out the guts and clean them and then poke holes in the back for the ribbons. Um, so I don't like them to be too, too, I don't, they don't need to be mint. They just need to be clean. All right, so that was some more adventures in plastic crack. I hope that was mildly interesting and partly in focus. All right, so if you want to see more of that or get a tarot reading or like, share, subscribe, donate, all this information is going to be in the description box of my infomercial video. I have art supplies. I mean, not art supplies, art things, um, merch, prints, coloring books, it, and so on. All that information in the description box of my infomercial video linked below this one and you could just email me the cat came back at camp at gmail.com and I'm giving away uh, two free JPEGs from my coloring books to give you something to do during quarantine and social distancing to help you relax 